This pillbox was the first photo taken with my Brownie 127. Between 1957 and 63, we went to Breen Sands for a holiday. We all stayed in a 12 foot caravan. There were seven of us, some sleeping on the floor, and there was no inside toilet. This was around the time Chalky White was visiting seaside resorts, waiting to be recognised by Daily Mirror readers. Anyone who recognised him would have to say something along the lines of, To my delight, it's Chalky White, to win £5. As I am walking along the beach, I notice a concrete structure, which I later learnt was a, a World War II pillbox. Now, this was 1957 time, so me and my brother had a, a Kodak Brownie 127 for Christmas. If I remember right, there was only eight photographs on each film, and we used to jump underneath the bedclothes to try and change the film. In 1950, we moved down from London to the Silt Wheels, where Dad would have worked with the rabbit skins. We lived in a house next to the River Avon, where the water would have ran underneath the house from the hatches, around the back, to drive the water wheel. This is the Claw Butler, what I built in 1960 time. My two friends were very good with bicycles, so they helped me make the bike. I bought the frame second hand for £2, and then scraped it down with a hacksaw blade and emery cloth. I then took it across to the local cycle dealer to have it sprayed, whose name was, wait for it, Chalky White. This is my Doors Galaxy, which I bought in 2002 for £700. I've been many thousands of miles on this one, and I'm now using it to recover from heart surgery, which I had in May 2011. What I do when I go out cycling, I make a day of it. I can notice things and pick up on them and then you start looking for more. It makes it interesting. You've got a, you've got a beginning and an end in the middle. And hopefully, if it's a nice day, it all slots in. As I'm cycling towards Orr, we have the Alton Barnes White Horse on the left-hand side. We then go along a bit further, which takes you into Rainscombe Park, where the event is held where we have photographs of the horses and the steam plough. I'd like to go back to Green Sands and see if the pillbox is still there.